tablet number seven. The seven lords. Hark ye, O man, and list to my voice. Open thy mind space and drink of my wisdom. Dark is the pathway of life that yet travel. Many the pathway that lie in thy way. Seek ye ever to gain greater wisdom. Attain, and it shall be light on thy way. Open thy soul, O man, unto the cosmic, and let it flow and as one with the soul. Light is eternal, and darkness is fleeting. Seek ye ever, O man, for the light. Know ye that ever as light fills thy being, darkness for thee shall soon disappear. Open thy souls to the brothers of darkness. Let them enter, fill thee with light. Lift up thine eyes to the light of the cosmos. Keep thou ever thy face to the goal. Open by gain, only by gaining the light of wisdom art thou one with the infinite goal. Only by gaining the light of all wisdom art thou one with the infinite goal. Seek ye ever the oneness eternal. Seek ever the light into one. Hear ye, O man, list to my voice, singing the voice of light and of life throughout all space. Light is prevalent, encompassing all with its banners and flames. Seek ye forever in the veil of darkness. Somewhere ye shall surely find light, hidden and buried, lost in man's knowledge. Deep in the finite, the infinite exists, lost but existing, flowing through all things. Living in all is the infinite brain. In all space there is only one wisdom. Through seeming decided it's one in the one. All that exists comes forth from light, and the light comes from forth of the all. Everything created is based upon order. Law rules the space where the infinite dwells. Forth from equilibrium came the great cycles, moving in harmony toward infinity's end. Know ye, O man, that far in the space-time, infinity itself shall pass into change. Hear ye and listen to the voice of my wisdom. Know that all is of all evermore. Know that through time thou may pursue wisdom and find evermore light on the way. Know that through time thou may pursue wisdom and find evermore light on the way. A. Thou shalt find ever receding thy ghost shall elude thee from day to day. Long time ago, in the halls of Amenti, I thought stood for the lords of the cycles, mighty they in aspects of power, mighty they in the wisdom unveiled, led by the dweller. First did I see them, but afterwards free was I from the presence, free to enter their conclave at will. Off did I journey down the dark pathway, unto the halls where the light ever glows. Learned I of the masters of cycles, wisdom brought from the cycles above, manifest they in this cycle as guides of man to the knowledge of all. Seven are they, mighty in power, speaking the words through me to men. Time after time stood I before them, listening to words that came not with sound. Once said they unto me, O man, wouldst thou gain wisdom? Seek for it in the heart of the flame. Wouldst thou gain knowledge of power? Seek ye it in the heart of the flame. Seek ye within thy own hidden flame. Many the times spoke they to me, teaching me wisdom not of this world, showing me ever new paths to brightness, teaching me wisdom brought from above, giving knowledge of operation, learning of law and order of all. Spoke to me again, the seven, saying, From far beyond time are we. Come, O man, travel we from beyond space time. A, from the place where in Infinity's end. When ye and all of thy brethren were formless, formed forth we were from order of the all. Not as men are we, though once we too were as men. Out in the great void were we formed forth in order by law. For now ye that which is formed truly is formless, having form only to thine eyes. And again unto me spoke the seven, saying, Child of the light, O thought art thou, free to travel the bright path upward until at last all ones become one. Forth we form, 
after our order. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Know ye that these are the numbers of the cycles that we descend from unto man, each having here a duty to fulfill, each having here a force to control. Yet are we one with the soul of our cycle, yet are we two seeking a goal. Far beyond man's conception of infinity extends into a greater than all. There in a time that is yet not a time, we shall all become one with a greater than all time and space are moving in cycles know ye their law and ye too shall be free a free shall ye be to move through the cycles past the guardians that dwell at the door then he spoke to me he the nine saying eons and eons have i existed knowing not life and tasting not death know oh man that Far in the future, life and death shall be one with the all, each so perfected by balancing the other that neither exists in the oneness of all. In men of this cycle, the life force is rampant, but life in its growth becomes one with the all. Here I manifest in this your cycle, but yet am I there in the future of time, yet to me. Time exists not, for in my world time exists not, for in formless we are. Life have we, but not yet have existence, fuller and greater, and freer than thee. Man is a flame, bound to a mountain, but we in our cycle shall ever be free. Know ye, O oh man, that when ye have progressed into the cycle that lengthen above, life itself will pass to the darkness, and only the essence of soul shall remain. Then to me spoke the Lord of the eight, saying, All that we know is but part of little, not as yet have ye touched on the great. Far out in space where light being supreme came I into the light form was I but also not as ye are. Body of light was my formless form form. Know I not life, know I not death. Yet master am I of all that exists. Seek ye to find the path through the barriers. Travel the road that leads to the light. Spoke again to me, the nine, saying, Seek ye to find the path to beyond. Not impossible is it to to grow to a conscience above for when two have become one and one has become the all. Know ye the barrier has lifted and ye has made free of the road. Grow thou from thou form from the formless free may thou be of the road. Thus through the ages I listen learning the way to the all. Now lift I my thoughts to the all thing. Lift ye in here when cause. O oh, light, all pervading one with all, and all with one, flow thou through me the channel, enter thou soul that I may be free, make me one with the all soul, shining from the blackness of night, free let me be of all space time, free from the veil of night, I child of light, command, Free from the darkness to be. Formless am I, the light soul. Formless yet shining with light. Know I the bounds of the darkness must shatter and before the light. Now I give this wisdom free. May ye be, O oh man, living in light and in brightness. Turn not thy face from the light. Thy soul dwells in brightness. Ye are the child of the light. Turn thy thoughts inward, not outward. Find the light soul within. Know that thou art your own master. All else is brought from within. Grown through the realms of brightness. Hold thou thy thought on the light. Know thou art one with the cosmos of flame and a child of light. Now I to give thee a warning. Not let thou turn away. Know that the brightness flows through my body for I turn not to dark brothers that come from darkness of black but keep thy eyes ever lifted thy soul in tune with the light take ye the wisdom and heed it listen to my voice and obey follow the pathway to brightness and thou shalt be one with the way